Elliot is a three-year-old boy who has been diagnosed with autism, a developmental problem related to language and social skills. His mom, Casey Compion, says they were not worried about his risk of autism, but he was diagnosed after being enrolled in an eye-tracking study at UC San Diego around the age of two. So we can tell with, with extremely high precision, is the baby looking at social images or non-social images? How quickly are they moving their eyes? Karen Pierce is the co-director of UCSD's Autism Center for Excellence. She says eye tracking can identify autism spectrum disorder very quickly and accurately. Here comes the video. Here comes. A child is given a choice of looking at, say, a video of car traffic or one of a woman speaking in baby talk. You know, that like sing song, you like, oh, sweetie, I love you, you're so adorable. Right when you're around a baby, people have more emotional inflection. And when we show the video to kids on the spectrum, they might spend more time looking at the traffic. So remember when Elliot was watching it, he did shift his gaze over to the traffic for a little bit um, instead of on the mother. Pierce is a co-author of a paper in the journal JAMA Network this month, describing a study where they tested 653 toddler-age kids. They found that if a toddler fixated on the baby talk video at or below 30 percent of the time while being eye-tracked, it had a 94 percent chance of being accurately identified with autism spectrum disorder. Compion says Elliot has gotten treatment that helps him play with other kids without getting frustrated. She says he's doing great. And as Elliot played in the background, she said parents should not think it's shameful if their child is diagnosed with autism. And people can be totally normal members of society and have a great life. The Centers for Disease Control estimate that by the age of eight, one in 44 U.S. children are found to be on the autism spectrum. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.